The Special Operations Forces SSO, reported via telegram the destruction of two Russian tanks and the elimination of five Russian soldiers with the assistance of first-person view FPV drones. Minus two tanks, vehicles, enemy personnel. A day of operation of SSO drones in the Donetsk region, reads the caption to the released video. The operation was carried out by FPV drone operators from the 8th Separate Regiment of the Special Ops. During the day, the Special Forces destroyed a T-90 tank, a T-72 tank, and two vehicles. The T-90 is a modern Russian main battle tank, with an export value of a T-90 going from about $2.5 to $4.3 million, depending on the level of modernization. The price of a new T-72 tank ranges from $3 to $4 million depending on the configuration while an older Soviet T-72 can cost as low as half a million dollars. Additionally, five Russian soldiers were eliminated, and three more were injured. A Russian dugout was also destroyed. Everything appearing on the horizon in the area of our unit's responsibility will become scrap and will be destroyed, said the commander of the SSO's Viking Group. Explosions and the destruction of Russian tanks and vehicles are depicted throughout the video. The footage also shows Ukrainian drones targeting Russian soldiers directly, as well as their attempts to evade the strikes. Russian soldiers are seen moving through the trenches, apparently aware of Ukrainian drones, in an attempt to avoid strikes. However, the video later showed Ukrainian drones hitting the Russian trenches, leading to the destruction of the dugout. Kyiv Post analysts could not independently verify the time and location of the video. Identifying the exact types of destroyed Russian tanks from the footage is challenging due to the video quality and obscured views by fire and smoke. A top general has issued an alarming warning that the frontline situation has significantly worsened for Ukrainian forces as Russians take advantage of warmer weather to intensify attacks. Writing on Telegram, General Oleksandr Sersky said, Kremlin soldiers were making gains since Vladimir Putin's election victory in March, and the higher temperatures drying out previously muddy conditions over the past few weeks in a major weather shift. The general said, dozens of tanks deployed by the Russians were taking advantage of harder ground to try and overwhelm the Ukrainian line near the towns of Bakhmut and Avdivka in the eastern Donbas region. In Washington, House Speaker Mike Johnson said, he is attempting the difficult task of winning approval from the House of Representatives for a national security package that includes funding for Ukraine. Speaker Johnson is already under immense political pressure to win over Republican Party members who are divided over support for helping Kyiv defend itself from Moscow's invasion. Last week, Foreign Secretary Lord Cameron warned against the appeasement of Vladimir Putin as he stepped up calls for the U.S. to release billions of dollars of extra funding for Ukraine. Vladimir Putin is reportedly preparing for a major offensive to seize Ukraine's second-largest city. Kharkiv is located in northeast Ukraine and is just 25 miles from the Russian border. Since the start of the invasion in February 2022, the city has been continually targeted by the Russians and subjected to heavy bombardments. The Kremlin has stepped up its missile strikes on the city and its environs in recent weeks, forcing the Ukrainian military to reallocate its dwindling air defense assets to Kharkiv. The city has significant symbolic meaning for both the Russians and the Ukrainians, and its capture would represent a major strategic and morale blow for Kyiv. President Zelensky told the German newspaper Bild that he believes Putin is preparing a major offensive against the city in the summer. Putin, of course, wants to take Kharkiv because it is a big symbol for him, he said. Kharkiv is one of the capitals of Ukraine, 
so it has great symbolic meaning, but we are doing everything we can to prevent that from happening. Analysts for the Institute for the Study of War believe an imminent Russian assault on Kharkiv is unlikely, but have not ruled out an attack in the summer. The Ukrainian president has pleaded with Western allies for more air defense systems and reportedly asked for another 25 Patriot missile launchers. Putin's army has been able to exploit Ukraine's degraded air defense umbrella to target more effectively the country's energy grid. Zelensky admitted the Russians had achieved notable successes, saying the attacks on the energy infrastructure had caused great pain to the population. Some Western politicians have argued for a peace deal to be negotiated with Moscow that would cede territory to Putin. However, Zelensky is adamant that the Russian tyrant will settle for nothing less than total control of Ukraine. Putin only understands power, he said. He feels like an animal. If you can't defend yourself, he will destroy even more. Выстрел! Не во выстрел! <звы> 